which ended with extreme controversy. We're on SmackDown Live, not Money in the Bank, yet we are using the Money in the Bank theme. Could we at least use the SmackDown theme because it makes more sense on this show? Also, despite the way this match ended, it still isn't as historic as the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match. That's just the honest truth. Yeah, yeah, I know, Becky Lynch is the Irish last kicker, but seeing the word bad last really makes me cringe. Remember, no disqualification, there are no rules. No disqualification, there are no rules, but Daniel Bryan can make up rules just to make life hell for the heels and life full of happiness for the faces. Clearly a one-sided GM here. Also, we already know that there are no disqualifications. We don't need to be reminded yet again. This is the third Money in the Bank ladder match in two weeks. Give me the right place at the right time. Charlotte moved in all directions possible upon getting kicked by Becky, except for the more logical direction when one gets kicked in the gut. Carmella knocked out here by Natalia. What? Okay, two sins are getting placed here. First off, Carmella wasn't knocked out at all since she's still conscious. And the other sin is by stating knocked out here, you're inferring that Carmella was knocked out of the ring by Natalia when she was never inside the ring to begin with during this moment. <laughs> Begging. We interrupt SmackDown to bring you WWE Money in the Bank 2017 with yet another tug of war for possession of the ladder. And as I stated in that video, it'd be a lot more fun if you ladies fought for the briefcase instead of the ladder. Well, somebody obviously saw Kofi Kingston's performance at WrestleMania 25. And a nasty landing for Becky Lynch. <laughs> sure, falling five feet in the air and landing softly on the ring canvas is considered a nasty landing because the commentators would rather not be honest with what I call another happy landing. I climb up the ladder and grab the briefcase. Oh my god, once again the commentators are referring to the Money in the Bank briefcase as a brief cake. What is it with briefcases that makes them think of cake? And crap, now I want some cake. Anybody else want a piece? There's a ladder that was right in front of Natalia that was the perfect size for climbing. But instead, she decides to get the smaller ladder and completely lose her chances of climbing to the briefcase, even if she got to the top of the ladder. Second ticket away, Natalia. One step. Wait five seconds. Two steps. Wait another five seconds. Three steps. Give Christian Miracle a freaking anxiety attack. Perfect plan. Natalia grabbing at the... Natalia grabs the bottom of the briefcase and proceeds to just stand there and not do anything to unhook it. Just standing there waiting for Charlotte to counter. I guess Natalia never wanted to win this match. What a spear by, Nat by uh, Naomi! Holy fuck! Okay, I can let slide Tom Phillips almost refer to Tamina as Natalia, but freaking Naomi? Naomi's not even in this freaking match! How the hell do you mistake Tamina with Naomi? Double sin. Anything interesting happening? No? Alright, wake me up when this match actually gets somewhere. <sighs> Ceiling cam. Ugh, this is another moment that makes me cringe. Carmella sets the ladder up, prepares to climb on one side, goes to the other side to reposition the ladder, prepares to climb, then decides to go to the original side she was on. Pick a side and just climb. Carmella is there. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I just might have to add another double sin for Carmella literally just prodding the hook and handle with her fingers instead of grabbing hold of it. And she wasn't losing her grip on the briefcase because it was stationary, and she wasn't even attempting to hang on to it. That was just freaking painful to watch. Not right now. Oh, this. Carmella was so close to getting it. Wow, Carmella jumps off the halfway point of the ladder, which is about the same height as jumping off the top rope, and yet the fans considered that a holy shit moment. A single clothesline, and the fans would probably chant holy shit these days. It's a long way from that contract. What the? Clearly, the WWE security sucks at their jobs, especially since there are security literally five feet away from James Ellsworth, who are not even selling what Daniel Bryan said about James being banned from the arena. No! Shut up, Byron! You're a commentator, not a fan of the crowd. Oh! Becky is addicted to James's Ellsworths. Two sins removed as a congrats for Carmella becoming a two-time Miss Money in the Bank. Also, you can't say that this was an unfair victory because James Ellsworth did not decide the outcome of the match as Becky took him out. Then Carmella tried to take advantage and Becky took her out too. Carmella then grabbed a chair, which is 100% legal, and then won the match. This was a fair and square victory, so all whiners and complainers gotta accept the truth. 